Hi and welcome to the video training of Node.js. In this video training, we will be learning about how to check status of TCP port. We will be using a Node module to check the status of TCP port using Node.js. A simple Node.js module to check if a TCP port is currently in use, it returns a deferred promise from the queue library. So let's look at how to install this library. First of all, let's create a project directory and I'm going to call it TCP status. Set the permissions. TCP status. Go into that directory and install npm i and the TCP port used library hit enter and it will start inst the installation ok hasn't installed because we don't have the package.json file we forgot to add that step so do npm init hyphen y and we got the package.json file now now let's run the installation again this time it should be successful Okay, now we have it installed. As you can see, we have the node modules folder and it's installed within the node modules folder. You can see it here, TCP port used. So let's do our first drill. This drill just check a port state. And I'm going to create a new file for this. So I'm going to call it TCP state.js and let's define a variable tcp port used equals required tcp port used this is the library that we have installed and we are going to use the function of this library called check so tcp port dot used check and this is the port that we are going to give it to this address one to seven or this is the local host IP address of my computer function in use okay if the port is in use we are going to console.log port port 201 in use usage plus in use okay okay otherwise we are going to capture the error and console.log error on check and we are going to print the error dot message okay that is it let's save this file and go to the console let's run this program tcp state dot js and it says port 44201 usage false because it is not in use okay i know that the port 80 is being used by apache server so i'm going to check port 80 on localhost and run the program again this time I got true because it is being used by Apache web server. So 
this is a good small utility for including in your own applications okay let's go to drill 2 to wait until a port on local host is available this is also very useful to continuously check if the port is available or not and it waits and trigger the trigger any code or event as soon as that port becomes available so let's copy this project and you can call this file as wait until free wait until free and we are going to use the function called wait until free wait until free and I'm going to give the same port that is 80 it is being used by Apache web server on my computer so it is in use now let's use function and doesn't require any parameters and port is now free okay let's save this file go to the console and run this program wait until free and now it's checking out the status of the port 80 and it comes out on check okay now let's open another wind terminal window and in this window I'm going to stop the Apache web server stop but let's run this first and let's run this now okay we got the timer okay you saw that as soon as I stop the Apache web server the code trigger port 80 is now free so we can schedule a code to run when this port becomes available and we can place that code right here okay let's look at drill 3 to wait until a port on a host is available host, host means that it there is the computer on some other server so we can use that function as well and it is wait until free on host so I'm going to call this wait until free on host dot js wait until free on host function and I will going to check port 80 and let's say it uh, yahoo.com maybe okay you can see it's now free okay not sure if that will work or not but as due to security checkups on yahoo web server so it's checking and it says timeout let's check port 44201 save the file run it again we got the same error on check timeout So it depends on the security permissions on the host as well you cannot just ping or check the status of any port on any computer on the internet but if it is your server and you have configured it properly to accept connections or accept or check the status of the port you can do this drill tree okay let's do drill number four to wait until a port on local host is accepting connections okay so this is the opposite of wait until free this is wait until used okay and 
I am going to give AT and localhost and it will trigger when port 80 is in use okay so I have stopped the Apache server at the moment it stopped and port 80 is free so let's run free until use.js and it says port 80 is in use I have run the port 80 or not wait until free on host okay and the function is wait until used okay, save the file now run it again and we it's waiting and it gives us timeout error now run it again and instantly I'm going to start the Apache web server in second terminal window okay I've started Apache server but it has timed out so let's try again there's a very small window okay let's try it again okay no luck okay this time I was quick and I got port 80 is in use so as soon as I started the Apache web server it gave me this code port 80 is now in use so basically this function waits until the port becomes occupied by any process or service on your computer now let's move on to drill 5 again this function wait until use on host works only on remote host and it depends on the settings of the remote host or configuration that either it's it is accepting incoming connections on that port or not okay now drill number six to wait until a port on a host is in specific state so I can call this file wait for status dot js and call this wait for status port 80 this okay this is now in use okay let's run this file wait for status wait for status and we get in use must be a boolean okay okay it says port 80 is in use it is the status of the port and what if I stop the Apache server run it again and it's it's waiting for the status it's checked out so again we are going to start Apache server and there you go we got port 80 is in use so these were some very simple and straightforward piece of codes for checking the TCP port status on your computer or on remote host depending on the situation and requirements if you like this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you need any help feel free to contact me my email address is umahmood at gmail.com you can contact me on my LinkedIn or you can contact me on my Twitter that is man underscore techweber. See you next time with a new topic in Node.js and the source code of these drills are available on my GitHub repository. So you can download them from there. The link is included in the video description. 
of the GitHub repository.